No club in world football have spent as much as Chelsea. However, sooner or later, Todd Bowley's wallet is going to get him into a lot of trouble. As today, we transfer ban the Blues. We relegate them to League Two as Todd Bowley's spending has backfired. Yes, we're ready to rebuild them. As for this video, we've got the new Chelsea kit. If you want to know how I got this, go down to the link in the description, the top link to Soccer Deal Shop. A place to get beautiful replica tops for cheaper prices. Their Christmas deal starts 14th of December and if you use MWS at checkout clicking that link below you get 10% off as well. As another rule I forgot to say as well is everybody over the rating of 74 has been released from this club. I can show you this way we do have players to come back on loan that does count. We can have them back after their finish and there's some players below 74 I can't believe including Lavia, Cole Palmer, He's taking this club to glory. As of course I did mention, we've got a transfer... We've got a transfer ban and we've gone into the minuses. Don't know how that's possible and you might have seen before with the team, we've promoted a lot of youngsters through. Now we've got no substitutes at all as it's also in the best possible starting 11 we can have. Now... Washington up front is a good young player to use. Chuck Maker, a good Chuck Wu, and of course Cole Palmer. But Lavia and Cole and Petrovic in the goal is going to be crucial. Preseason's also crucial because I do want to get some players back from loan, including these like Andre Santos, David Fofana. There is a lot of young players we could use back at the club. I would love them back, but we still need money to recall them. But that's actually a good start. Or is it a good start? Leslie Ogachukwu has a release clause paid by Newcastle. That would be welcomed money. It would take us to 10 million or maybe around 8 million to spend. And has he gone? Because we're approaching the first game of the season. Okay, never mind. They haven't paid it. And that's going to be quite bad on us. Them not paying the clause because it means we're stuck with only three academy players. I like to bend my own rules for these rebuilds. I don't mind actually getting players for the academy monthly instead of my usual annual intake. I mean, we've got... We've got a 34 rated, for goodness sake, in our defense. Buckley ain't good enough, however. We've got Will Elliott, who looks decent. Another goalkeeper in Harry Tyler. We've got Jude Johnson, Patrick Kemp. And that is about it. We've also got Fletcher, but we'll get him on training drills. I don't expect much from them. But one thing I am going to do with this team, before the first game against Sutton, who are literally rock bottom of the FL, Lavi is moving back, Elliot's coming in here, and going up front, Chukwameka in centre mid. Who would have thought this? Spending all that money, Chelsea, and they have three goalkeepers on the bench. This is not going to be fun. I think we'd be lucky to to get out of League 2. We've got some standout players, and look at that, we've drawn to Sutton. Sutton United, who are soon to be, if things stay the same, a champ, or a National League club, sorry. And I don't know what Mora can do. I honestly don't. We don't have money. We don't have a right back. And we have Petrovic coming to speak. Boss, if we don't win this league this year, me, Lavia and Ogachuk, we have all said we're leaving the club. And there is no doubt about this. If you don't sell us, we'll be leaving on freeze. How's the season going, though? How is it going? You can see we have Lincoln City after we've got through in the... Bristol Street Motors Trophy? It changes its name every other week and we're fourth. We're fourth in League Two with Chelsea. Is everything all right? I mean, 15 draws! 15 draws. Looking around, you can see there's a lot of draws. And we drew to the Mariners. That makes me a bit happy. But not for this current job we're doing. Rating-wise now, we've got a 75, a 75, and a 76. Not to forget Cole Palmer on the wing. Cole says something different to the rest of the lads. He says he's with us till the end. Poch brought him here. He will play for Poch. Yeah, that's right. The manager's stuck. And I think we need to sell some players now. We've somehow got 190k. Maybe it maybe a youth player got poached. We do have the three players out on loan, but of course it's not them we want to recall. I wanna I wanna get a defender back. I believe that's crucial for where we're at. And it's either Bashir Humphreys from Swansea, or it's gotta be Lewis Hall from Newcastle. And I'm kinda leading towards Hall. I mean, it's gotta be really, hasn't it? So welcome, Lewis. I'm gonna stick you at right back. See if you can do a job for us there, as it's Williams on the other side. It looks like he's played for Derby in the past. I mean, it's weak fullbacks, but it's very strong centre-halves. And hopefully the two centre-halves 
can make for a good second half to the season. And come end of the season, that's the ratings of the lads. Have we... Oh, I thought we got an extra player then. We don't. But we've got some decent ratings. Will them ratings be staying though? Because the 70 plus lads have said if we don't win the league, they are leaving. We are promoted in second or so far. That's because other teams have games to play. We're going to skip a few. We should still be automatically promoted. We are. We're still in second. But Wrexham winning the league means Petrovic, Lavia and Ogachukwu will all leave the club. They've got to be leaving over the summer. They're leaving a League One team though, which is good. And we get a lot of lone players back, baby. I'm going to absolutely love that. We're going to try and fly back up the leagues as Cole Palmer got 27 goals. Brilliant players, brilliant lads who are scoring. The only problem is going to be going forward, wages at the club. As high rate of players leave, you'll get money, but wages will still go up because they always go up when you go up division. CFL trophy... We didn't even win that. We we must have been beaten early on. It wasn't Lincoln. I, I don't know where it was. It was Colchester, right? We've got more work to do. Season number two in League One, of course, joined by those teams. We know we have to get rid of everyone over the rating of 74. Not great. Not great as Todd Bowley's took his money off us. Of course he has. He'll probably say something like, oh, you've... You've, you've got players that you need to sell now. And to an extent, he's telling the truth. Because Lukaku, Kepa, Ziek, we're going to be selling. Going to speak to Big Rom and say, you're on the track. Oh, he's going to cut us off, is he? He's going to tell us that him, Kepa and Ziek all spoke to each other off season. And they've all said they are going to breach their contract, leave on freeze, and not be returning to the club. That's great, isn't it? So, yep, they've all gone already. We've got these two who are transfer listed. Hopefully Malang Saar being our captain will stay at the club. Cole Palmer said he will. We've got the likes of Santos, Angelino and Fofana back. And not only have our players asked to leave who are over the rating of 74, but anyone over the rating of 74 in League One will be sold, meaning we have to get promoted or the rest of these players could leave. As this is the team we can make, and I tell you what, it's going to get even stronger than this. One problem as well until players leave the club, we don't have any money for a scout again, as this is the team we can make. And I would like to sign, actually, a right back. Of course, move Williams there and get rid of him. But that team should be walking straight into the championship there. There is no doubt about it. And here we are. It begins with players going out. 25 million for Petrovic. That's better than losing him on a free. As Romeo Lavia's also chose Burnley. And also players going out to a regens. Harry Tyler's... Going on alone to the league above. Yeah, it's a weird move, I know. But Bettinelli can step on the bench and hey, some of these players have developed a kit like Elliot has. Also, Johnson, is that a message that them two are the best graduates? As looking at our money and we've only been given three million. Todd, what is all this about, mate? We've sold over 50 millions worth of player. But he said with all the restrictions, he's lost a lot of money too. So until we reach the Premier League, he will be taking 50 million each year and leaving the rest. Right, that's brilliant. So that means we've got to sell 50 million each year. Amazing. Three million to spend. I mean, we can still make some more this season and we'll get our Youth Academy scout out and take a look at his immediate findings, which include Cameron Dickinson. Good player. Harley Barker could definitely be maybe the right back we're looking for. Still, I would like to sign one. And it's actually proving rather difficult to get a right back in. And we're already at Bristol Rovers. We don't do well. We'll definitely be losing Malang Sar and Palmer next year. And the strong team should get the business done. But when you when you look outside of the starting 11, the bench and everything isn't good enough. But we do win. Palmer and Cassidy. We've just got to hope we don't end up relying on these players right here. Because if we do, we will definitely be stuck in these lower leagues for some time longer. Please, lads, if it's your last action in a Chelsea shirt, get us promoted to the championship. As halfway through the year, I mean, it looks like Portsmouth are near us by that graphic at the side, and we are fourth in the third tier. I mean, Stockport got promoted with us last season. They're second. They've had a better step up than us. Five defeats, 
Nine draws. No, 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 Chelsea. This is not what I envisage. We've got unhappy players, but we've got to ask the question. Why are they unhappy? They've got us in this situation to start off with. I believe the right back issue could be what's faulting us. We've got three million still. We haven't spent any of it, but then again, contracts. Look at this. We've got Hall running out. We've got Saar. Although we'll have to leave next season, we'll have to sign him up to a new one which makes his wage higher. And that still says we're at 3 million, but of course it will no doubt be less. A positive I have to go back to though is the loan boys. We loaned out Will Elliott, I forgot to mention. He's at Alaves in the second tier in Spain and he's doing very well. The same can be said for Harry Tyler in the league above us. That's got me questioning Solonia, our goalkeeper currently, but currently right here, right now, we're signing our first player. The right back is through the door and it is Amadou Mbengue. That, don't tell me that's one full name. I think there was a gap in there that we couldn't see. Yeah, here he is. He needs to be at right back. He's got pace. He's 23 year old and he comes from a team in our division in Reading. And come end of the season, I, I actually don't believe it. We're still in the playoffs where we will be facing Derby. The Frank Lampard Derby this one. Oxford and Stockport, like I said. They come up with us. Did they actually finish above us? They did. They finished top of the playoffs. And to be fair, it was two points. And we were two points of automatics. We lost to Plymouth on the final day. It's fair to say the league was winnable as well. And this is the team we have. This is a Premier League quality team. There is no beating around the bush. Cole Palmer is almost 80 rated in League One. And we're still not getting promoted. So here we go. I'm also going to check Derby's team for signings. Because we'll have to get signing players next season. Whichever league we're in. Can't say which we would be in as well. Because I don't know what these playoffs have in store. It's a draw in the first leg. Means this place in the championship is going to be very, very hard fought. We do win though. It's Connor Hall, Angelino, and quality shines through. That's not the name of the third scorer, by the way. That's just what I say. As Oxford are next, the use at Wembley. This will be our first trophy as well, by the way. Because we didn't get one for, I think it was second place last season to Wrexham. As we do go up, David, who I don't know... The, 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 who that is. Maybe it's Washington's first name. I don't know. Angelino with the other. He's a special player. 2-0 championship place. Absolutely love it. Looking at the team as well. The ratings of Harry Tyler, 74. He's actually exceeded Will Elliott. We've got 50 million to accumulate. We've got to build a team to try and get in the Prem with. It's all kicking off now after back-to-back -back promotions. So here we are again in the championship. Do we get some money to operate with? Just to start off with no. So we've got to make 50 million plus some more on top if we're going to sign a player. I mean, to sign two players and get promotion is good, but I'm reluctant to transfer list at this moment in time. As eyeing up the team, though, the one player I won't mind getting rid of straight away is Solonia. He got us fourth. It means he conceded quite a few goals. Plus, Tyler's been at this level and is one rating lower. He's very much younger. And Elliot could actually go on the wing for Moreira. And then Palmer go out fully. So he's back in the middle, actually, Elliot. Of course, with zero as well for the third time in a row, we can't use our scout, Jackson Nixon. I've just seen the name Jackson. And the fact we have no money, we'll wait on some offers and see where some of his previous plays have gone. Nicholas Jackson is a betrayer. Going to Arsenal. BTEC Kai Havertz as Enzo Fernandez has chosen Newcastle. Rhys James has been different. He has chosen Galatasaray. And finally, Chelsea's best player, Mikhailo Mudrik, has gone to Leicester. Interesting stuff, really, as we're going to get the ball rolling here. The first player out the door is David Datro Fofana going to Strasbourg for almost 20 million, as the second one is Gabriel Solonia. That's half of the money made, almost half as Malang Star adds another big bit to it, losing some key players, but 37 million accumulated. However, that is a lot of quality gone. We've just sold another player there. I believe that was Casa Daisy as Chuck will make a steps in and this will be the team for the first game of the season still Mbwenge looks a decent signing but is our only one team worthy of beating Huddersfield 43 million right 
7 million. It still requires a player going, but we've got to focus on our games. And then we'll finally be able to get a player ring as their team. It's Key and Harrit up front. It's a okay looking squad. But I don't fear Huddersfield. We shouldn't fear Huddersfield. Brooking steps in at the back and there is a 2-0 win courtesy of Washington. And he's our only striker at the club him as after the game we finally do hit our quota. We lose the player of Angelo or Angelo. I don't know how you say it but Leeds United have stole him and Solinia. Trying to find the new Rafinha there as there we go. 60 million. You know what that means? After Todd Bolly takes his share. Well left with 10 million now to spend in the championship. First of all, we've got these contracts to sort out. I'll do it at a click of a finger. There we go. The only player not signing is Bettinelli. But do we actually care? I, for one, do not, as we're going to sign a player not on the same level as Malang Saar. But I tell you what, he's good, and he's a Brazilian in for the Brazilian we've lost. Santos and Washington need a friend. So in the kit we've got on, of course, link in the description. Murillo joins the player who is so criminally underrated at Nottingham Forest from the past couple of games I've seen. Yes, their form's not spectacular, but from, yeah, what I've seen, he's brilliant. 23-year-old, he's physical. He is left-footed and replaces Brooking straight away. Humphreys, the youngster, will get the armband. And with just one player signed, it was a lot of money on his contract. We will be going into the first half of the championship season. And how are we doing, lads? We've just finished our simulation. Sunderland are two points off as 36 points. I knew it wouldn't sit us in good stead. We're outside of those playoff places. I do not want to pay a 50 million charge to Mr. Bowley again. Come on. One player I don't like unhappy is Elliot. He wants to be the main player, of course, along with Cole. Palmer's still here. He is very, very interested in helping this Chelsea team out. As money-wise... 2 million. It would probably have to be a player out plus the 2 million for a big player in. The only players I'd want to replace, though, are the defenders, and they're not going to sell for much, as I can't believe Cole Palmer's still 81 rated. He's got 14 in 26. I think with the potential thing, it doesn't increase hugely outside of the Premier League. If you do it in the Prem, you get the big increases. But for now, he stays 81, and we stay outside the playoffs. And come on, say we've clutched playoffs. The results look good. Hey! Norwich City. It's not automatics, but it will be playoffs. Already had our luck here. We're joined by Swansea, Watford, and of course the Canaries. We finished fourth in the end. Oh my days, Yorkshire doing the business. Leeds and Sheffield United going up. Swansea third. If you haven't seen the rebuild on them, very interesting watch, I must say. I don't mind telling you that for free. Norwich City, very decent team. And I've got to say, the face ID change for FIFA has been amazing. I love these... New faces a lot more. I don't like Gabriel Sarah's goal, though. And I'm very nervous now. Very nervous because I don't want to lose Cole next season. We've lost 2-1 overall. Or 3-1 overall. Chelsea stuck in the championship. Oh, another 30 or 50 million, should I say, to give to our terrible owner and this team. It might be demolished. It's not going to be the triple back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back promotion. Instead... We're going to be losing Cole, who scored 22 goals for us. And we're going to be losing Bettinelli, but like I said, not too caring about that. Maybe we get a budget next year, but I'm not too sure. A terrible season for us. A terrible season. We're given no money again. And you know how we'll be playing this. We've got one player transfer listed, and that is Cole Palmer. His market value is 68 million. If we get that, we'll have some spending money and we'll make the 50 million. And, um, I mean, we're losing him. I'm a really big fan of Cole Palmer, but the money. Oh boy, the money. He's going over to play in the Dutch League for 101 million pounds. After Bowley tax and of course transfer tax, we're left with 44 million in the championship and we should finally be getting promoted. We know we need to replace him immediately. And then Humphreys, well, he is a Chelsea youngster. I kind of want to keep him. But Mbwenge, one of our first signings, has to go. Is he going on the bench? 
Is he going in the reserves? Because we need a lot of players all round. As here is the first player, he will only be sat on the bench for, from another Premier League academy. I say another, where a championship side as Joe Hodge is going to be behind the midfielders. And he will be joined immediately by our second Nottingham Forest player, Brandon Aguilera. And the next one after this, we are cooking with gas signing wise. They're not too expensive. And this is a wonder kit. When you've got Brazilian wonder kits, why not add more? A new number 10 in Barbosa, 19 year old and 69 rated. Look at the state of it now. I mean, the team, I'm going to be training Elliot as a right hand side of midfielder. And Wenge still to be kind of replaced as uh, bench wise, we could do with another winger and definitely a backup keeper. And here is that winger. To be fair, he could go straight in, but it would knock Elliot out. Make it a bit complicated. A player that we dished out in our Sunderland save last time out. Juison Benete. As finally as well. Here's the backup goalkeeper if you need to know who it is. Harvey Davis, who came from the Liverpool Academy. I can't lie, Chelsea would not touch these players in a million years, IRL. But we're in desperate need. I'm actually going to put Benete straight in. Aguilera's on a very strong bench now. We've got some reserves and we're locking in a little bit. Can we lock in though? for the league and we cannot get worse than last season but we can stay the bloody same oh chelsea what are you doing to us man again last time we were level with luton this time we're behind them iriola's bournemouth top swansea southampton blackburn preston luton all above the blues we seriously have to lift this team up we have 23 million Told you we didn't spend much of the um, Palmer money. And this team on paper, we're almost getting another 80 rated or two or three. But it must be the defense. Mbwene, I really wanted to trust. Same with Humphreys. But I don't think the lads are really doing it for us. So here we go, making one signing. And guess what? It's costing most of that money. A huge risk here. But welcome to the club, Barbosa. Now... This isn't a Brazilian rebuild. But this man coming from the Brazilian leagues is 21.79 rated. On paper, better than Murillo. But will he perform better than him throughout the year? And end of season number two in the championship, eh? Hey, at least we have the playoffs against Sunderland. At least we've squeezed in them again. And I think it is the best one. I'd rather not start with Watford. Or Southampton. We did finish third as well. Luton Town going back to the big time. And I tell you what, it looks promising. Southampton were close, but it should be every team here. In terms of in-season, wow, look at them rating. 80, 80, 80, 80, 81. Oh my days. Come on, we've got to beat Mason Burstow as an ex-player. Please don't tell me we lose. It's a draw. Andre Santos had to help us out late on as Jack Clark got the first one. We cannot have a repeat of last season though. We cannot. It cannot happen for Pochettino Hall suspended as we are going to win. Yes, Elliot, our youngster. Elliot fires Chelsea to Wembley. As Chelsea's banana peel team and mine combine Watford at Wembley. I hate it. We've got to beat them. I mean, Matthias on their wing in the rebuild of Watford was amazing. We need to be amazing here as well as Chelsea fire back four seasons in. Three promotions, 2-1 over Watford. And we will be taking that trophy, thank you very much. Love that, finally back where they belong. Of course, we started in League 2 as a message from Todd Bowley. Now we're back in the Premier League with regulations and more money given to us. I will be letting you keep your initial budget. However, I still need some money for myself. Therefore, we'll be taking 20 million out of player sales. So you've got to keep selling. Thanks, Todd. You're doing Chelsea a really big favor here. Investing all that money and now taking it back. It's the way of the world, I guess. But what a weird world we live in. And Premier League. I mean, we've got to make 20 million profit. So some of these players will go. If not, maybe just one. Like Moreira, he's... He's scoring, but he's never top scorer. We do get to spend the money, however. We've just got to give him 20 million of player sales. Maybe a weird rule, but 75 million for us. What about contracts? How are they looking? Because we will have to pay out big time for them, right? We've got a few. 
but we will sign up. Actually, no, Moreira, straight on the transfer list. You're not staying anyway, so you're not getting a new deal. So, of course, right back and centre mid is where we're looking for options. This guy isn't a centre mid. He plays a bit more attacking, so Elliot has to watch out in the midst of selling Moreira. Brendan Aronson. Yes, Leeds United signed our players. We're signing an ex-player of theirs. He joins Chelsea and will be, will be the main man in the middle, but actually he can play right mid, so he, he won't. Elliot's gonna stay there. As before our player even goes out, making big gambles here, buying before we've sold. But the player Moreira will leave as Lorenz Asignon is our right back. The right hand side built up as there he is, Moreira leaving. A good servant in the lower leagues, and he goes to Sociedad for 42 million. That means we'll still have a bit more to spend. Of course, we take 20 off of that, and it leaves 27. For now, though, for now. It looks pretty decent. I'll take having these two as new players. And I mean, Chuck will make a will grow. Hall will grow. Elliot and Benete will. But maybe we could get a replacement for him. Yeah, screw it. We're going to get a new man in. And he's very cheap for his rating. Welcome to the club, Jesper Carlsen. 81 rated and he's only cost us 23 mil. And that looks like a much better squad with him on the wing. And I'm telling you now, if this team even comes close to relegation, I am going to flip my lid. It's a much changed Chelsea side as the first game of the season. Manchester United. I think I'm safe in saying as well, this one will be televised as Man United's team, for me, looks rather weak. They've stole the Zassi off us. One of their players we lost in the mighty fall from grace, as can we come and cause a surprise? Oh yes, we can. Washington, he was here when we got relegated. He was out on loan. Now he's the main man leading the line as Chelsea topple the Red Devils. And this... This is actually, um, I, I don't know how to feel. It's a bit concerning. I expect us to do better, but we are above Liverpool having a flop season. Chelsea back in the Prem and back where they are in real life. And can you kind of see what you expected better? Can you? I mean, we've got an 82 rated Elliot now. Our, our youngster's coming into fruition. We've got Washington doing well. Chuck Wameka. Tyler in the goal is fantastic. We should be challenging higher up as we've got 11 million in our bank account. It's enough for another player, you know? It definitely is, but in the Premier League, I kind of don't want to fork out. I want to see our top scorer, which is David Washington with six. Carlson doing well. Aronson, all the suns, hopefully taking us where the sun does shine. And come on, tell me we've improved. Tell me we've gone up. We've gone down a place. At least we're above Forest, who we stole the players from. Liverpool have impressed. Same with Man United. Or impressed on where they were. Still not great. Still nowhere near the top for us. Have our ratings gone up, though? They should have. Ooh, they've actually not really much since halfway through. We'll have to spend money next year. An off-season, I would say. 86 rated carries the way in Tyler. It is all youth, Barbosa and Santos. As Carlson got top scorer joint with Washington, to be fair, Washington in less games. Barbosa got some off the bench. Nothing special from one in particular player. Everything really sharing out. In the Cups, absolutely nowhere near the FA Cup. Carabao, again, Chelsea not to be heard. A rather very, very monotone single line straight through Premier League season. We need to be better, but at least we wasn't in danger. Season number six amongst us, I think. I believe so anyway. Teams improved in off-season, it seems. Not much to Connor Hall, who might be the unfortunate man to get replaced. There's 67 million, but we've got to sell to buy. 20 million needed to reach Tolly's budgeting off of our budget as four millions made from Ambuengue, or Mbuengue. I'm pretty sure he's got like a nickname to do with a cheeseburger. Still don't understand it. I've said it before in a video, but our big money seller is Andre Santos. 49 million. Now, of course, already sold 40 million. 16 million goes to Bowley. And that means after sales and not spending any of the 67 million, we have 96 to go all out with. And that's exactly what I've hoped to do. He's not actually as high as rated 
As I thought, but he's a good player, you can tell who it is. If you know your in-game faces, as it's Enzo Ledois from AC Milan. A great player and it and it leaves us with 29 million. I think we have to say goodbye to Lewis Hall. And we say hello to Pervisus Dupignan. What a player. What a player to get, by the way. I am so happy with that. Brilliant stuff. On a cheap as well. 22 million out of the 29. And he'll go straight in at left back, but of course Hall goes to 80 rated now. He's there for the future on the bench if we need him in the future. Because this team, if it could challenge, would do us a huge favour in progressing us. And from playing Man United at the start to playing Liverpool at the start. You can see Ben Doak starting. Bit of a makeshift team. They've got Andreas Christiansen who left Chelsea time ago in a draw. I will take. Let's just hope Chelsea perform for the rest of the year. <laughs> And look at this. I, I just don't believe it. Why are we not swapping places with Palace? 29 points. I mean, it's 35, which is Champions League. And Fulham a second. Our rivals are even a lot better than us. Team-wise, oh, oh my days. Ratings. How are we not higher? The likes of Chukwumeka. Asunyon's been here a while. I expect... Estupinian to go up at least one, but still they're high enough to be in the top four, I would say. We have a standout player in our keeper, but do we have a standout scorer? I mean, look at them. He's only 22 year old as well. Amazing, Harry Tyler. It is still Washington, but only seven goals. Not too cracking, and I mean, contracts are running out. Murillo's one of those. We have eight million to renew them, and we should be able to do that. It's literally just nothing happening mid-season. The only thing we can hope happens is an improvement on ninth. And I don't believe this. The Premier League goal difference is terrible all around. And we lose the title on it. Must have been some second after the season, by the way. For us to come back, we conceded the same amount of goals. But two extra goals scored by Liverpool win them the title. I don't believe it. But if you do want to see a Liverpool rebuild on its own, link in the description. And that is the team that came second as well. So we have had rating increases to definitely Washington and, of course, Harry Tyler. Elliot is going unnoticed because of the goalkeeper being a youngster. He's doing brilliantly as well. Same with Brendan Aronson. Changed to a right mid and changed his mindset. As we got 11 goals from Gabriel Barbosa off the bench. I guess he is our number 10. And Washington, the greedy man... For 14 goals, zero assists. Harry Lewis as well has a contract signed for next season, so he's going nowhere yet. As we're going to check around FA Cup. Oh, we, we lost to Villa. Are we seriously only going to have playoff trophies? It looks like we may do, of course. Still seasons to go. And hey, we haven't just talked about how we're in the Champions League. That is some achievement. As here comes Todd Bowley. Now we're in the Champions League. I'll be taking 10 million off you. Think of that as my goodwill gesture. Very goodwill. Very goodwill for you to take 10 million off your own team. Yes, if you can't tell, that was sarcasm. We've got a very good team, which may have improved off-season as £163 million. Pounds. That is is good enough for me. I don't need as much as Poch. As you can see, a lot of players transfer listed. They're all players that would help make up an easy 10 million and, of course, not affect the first team, apart from Harry Tyler, who submitted that request himself. And I'm not satisfied with the way he's put his request in, but Jusen Minete takes the hit and he will leave the club. And I hate saying the phrase, but after Bowley tax, we have 176 million from League Two to back where Chelsea is with the money they have. And here we go. Here is the big player that we'll be signing first with that money. And guess what? The Brazilian theme here at Chelsea just keeps on going. Welcome to the club, Savio. Now, of course, he he's a brilliant player in real life at, I think it's Girona, at one point. Or they may still be joint top of the league with Real Madrid. He's going to go onto the bench and then sneak in the team as that improves us immensely. And he won't be the only big player, of course. Of course we had some money left. So the two big players are finally here together. Nowhere near the record fee even, but a record player, Frankie Dion. Welcome to the Blues. Ten Hag will be absolutely furious with that one if he's still in charge of Man United here. A little bit of messing as we're going to simulate to the first game now. I'll show you the team then 
And I'm praying it's not a big side. Oh, it's not that we start off with, but still, it's West Ham, a London derby, followed by an even bigger London derby. As they've got a decent team, but I will show you ours. Look at that. And tell me... It can't win stuff. It's got to be winning stuff. Got to be. As the first game, it's only a 1-0, but it's the youngster, Will Elliott. Chelsea's third season in the top flight starts with a bang and will continue with Champions League football. Villarreal, Lille and Dynamo Kiev. A decent group, which I'm hoping for the best in. There's a lot of decent teams, of course, in this competition. Can we come out on top? And can we be the best in the world now? As this season... Chelsea are on top of the English Premier League. Love this. Finally, it's our turn to have the two goal difference higher than Manchester United. Liverpool fall to eighth. I love that for us. And we're through in the Champions League with Anderlecht next. One of the best teams we could get as we topped the group with flying colours. This seems kind of too good to be true. Too good to be true as looking at that team, even the bench is improving. Chuck Wamaker, Hall, Carlson. So we've got six million left from what we spent earlier on and two contracts running out. That includes Will Elliott as, oh, oh, we won't sign a new one. Bit of a gut punch that our youth player won't stay, but a big thing is Grimsby Town in the FA Cup. You know we'll be simming this one. Come on, can we do well against the Mariners? We do, but of course I still love you, Grimsby. As here we go, Stade Municipal for Anderlecht. That is the team they have. I mean, it's decent. Dolberg and Todd Cantwell. Is it Champions League worthy, though? Is it worthy of beating that team? Mr. Pinyan suspended as we still get the win. Still, we've got to go and win another leg. And that team is honestly amazing. Mr. Pinyan is back. And we are banging goals in with the help of of our left back. Easily through right there as the next challenge is De Jong's old team. Barcelona. I don't know how the league's going and they've got Luis Miley and Darwin. Two players you don't expect them to have, but can we beat them? Come on. Oh dear. De Jong's even suspended. So this is going to be extremely difficult. Oh! <laughs> but we do it. Savio is the main man. Washington and Will Elliott. It puts us through, of course. And the next team is going to be very interesting. It is a London derby. Arsenal host us. They've got... I mean, they've signed Kovacic next player of ours. But you've got to feel confident in your abilities and the first leg goes Savio's way. He's been incredible. A second leg though, at the bridge, we should win. But of course, easier said than done. We're in the final. Brilliant achievement that. And I believe it will be, yes, Napoli that we face. But have we won any trophies to go with it? As if we lose that game, we won't have anything else if we don't win the Premier League. Oh, Okay, so our focus on the Champions League took away our title charge. That's okay. That's okay. I'd rather win the UCL. That is the aim of today. Out in the FA Cup as the Carabao. Yep. Out in the quarters. Everything rides on this game. We've got three 90 plus rated players plus the rest. We should be winning this game. Washington, 90 rated, 27 goals. Brendan Aronson and De Jong both double digits. We could actually do this as well to make it stronger all round. A stupid and playing out of position, but we can trust him, hopefully, to win the Champions League title. Napoli stand in the way of a big trophy here, of course. With a player out of position in a stupid hand here. Get him straight on the ball. Get him a touch of it. Hopefully he doesn't have much defending to do anyway. Murillo. Whoa. Heavy touches are us with the way I sprint around the field with my players. But good early passing. De Jong out wide as well. Here's Brendan Aronson. I'm keen to try him out. And that is, that is how the big touch works sometimes. Into Washington. And it's an early goal. And it's David Washington with the finish. A early for my liking can be a thing. And I believe it is there. But I'll still be happy that our Brazilian has won. Couldn't miss really. Created by Brendan Aronson. Uh, oh my days. A, a really weird camera there. But our American squaring it across. And our Brazilian finishing his meal. Say that because it was on an absolute plate. Still, we need to get the ball off Napoli. Don't let them keep possession. I've got a free kick to whip in as well. Don't mind them because we're always decent. 
at heading away. We've got some tall players like Murillo, like the other centre-half, as here comes Savio. Another Brazilian we'll have to mention, as that's a ball into Aronson. No way could we have the same goal as before! Yes, we can! Yes, we can! 15 minutes in. Chelsea are business here. Meaning business, should I say. Will. Will leave the club at the end. That's Will Elliott, of course. But he may go out with a goal in a Champions League final and a Champions League medal if Aronson keeps this up as we have two goals now to the good and excitement can finally come out. Great goal to get. Great goal and honestly... Napoli have not turned up. They've dominated the ball when they've had it, but once we make that tackle and break, they can't live with us. It could be another, you know, it could be another Will Elliott. Should have been three in 20 minutes. Should and could, because we've got a corner ball here. Going to go for an Abo Isa strike with Aronson. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what that means. But still, we could go for another Abo Isa, this time with Savio running down the wing. As we've got the ball back, and here is Will Elliott. Might as well go from range and all my days. Oh my days. So close to a third goal. So close to a third goal. Elmas into Aussie men. Big save though. At the end of the half, Napoli showing they're still in it. If we don't get a third and kill this off, they can score two. I know how Champions League finals go. I know this isn't in Istanbul, but it's written in history before. Next goal is extremely crucial as that's a brilliant switch across from Lewis Hall. Glad he's back in the team and it's good work from Aronson. Working with a stupid hand. Get out of his way. He uses you as a decoy through the middle and can we chip the keeper oh, off the line just didn't work out from right there and now they've got to run through the middle Ladoy, oh my days where's he sliding to he's on a yellow card already back yoko big block from frankie de jong he's honestly been amazing so far and a stupid man running forward he needs to cut inside of his man right here. And it's a ball onto Washington. Across the box. Is there someone there? Seems like Hall is allergic to positioning. And no Victor Rossi men. Oh my days. Big save from Harry Lewis. Hall. That is... That is ridiculous. That, that was horrific. My fault completely. I take the blame and a penalty for Napoli. Which is going to make for a very nervy ending. Just got to keep the ball. Just got to keep the ball. As the captain, Murillo, made that very difficult. Lads, not now. No mistakes. Zero mistakes as that's lofted over the top. Savio, brilliant header back in. Brilliant one-touch football. And Savio could kill it off. Into Will Elliott, who goes for the Ranger. And the corner somehow being given. I don't know why. I don't know how. And we're going to try it. Just go from range. Because if it goes out for another corner or hits a hand, we... We should have the game wrapped up. A penalty kick for us. And now all should be relieved. It's going to be Washington for his second of the game. And we've got a Penenka it. What a Penenka. Chelsea have won the Champions League. David Washington with the brace as well in the final. A man who's out on loan. Chelsea fans, looks like you've got a lot to look forward to. As the whistle goes straight from kickoff. What a player he's been. What a Brazilian little rebuild. Defense got shaky. But attack stood strong. Attacked till the end. And won the pre Premier or the Champions League title. Second time I made that mistake, calling it the wrong thing, of course. It's the Champions League. Blue and white never look so good. Said it before, I'll say it again. Best two colours apart from black and white to be on that trophy. Of course, a big place in my heart for Chelsea. My Premier League club, I must say, as Murillo lifts that trophy into the sky. And that will mark the end of the rebuild. If you want to see another one, click on screen, comment down below, and go to the link in the description for some good quality kits.